I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Artisans of Splendent Vale, a campaign and adventure game for two to four players. In Artisans of Splendent Vale, players read stories and play out action scenes in a unique campaign world. To begin a campaign, each player chooses a character and takes the book, box, and meeple corresponding to the character. Personal setup instructions in their box grant them additional starting equipment. Each player should read their character introductions and introduce themselves to other players. Together, players should read the first entry in their books. Certain passages will indicate they should be read by specific characters. At the end of each entry, players will be presented with a choice that determines how the story continues. During their adventures, players will search illustrations of the environments they're exploring. The illustrations include numbers that indicate entries the players can read to interact with their surroundings where they might find crafting components, recipes, and more. Most adventures also include one or more action scenes, which represent tactical battles or exciting chase sequences. Before the action scene begins, players may equip a single two-handed weapon or two one-handed weapons, and up to two trinkets and two skills. Players may also share potions between each other. Place the enemy meeples on the board by matching the number and symbol indicated by the action scene's rules. The player meeples are placed on the spaces with paw prints. Now roll 8 dice to form the dice pool. This pool of dice is shared by all players. They spend dice from the pool to perform their actions, such as spending a boot to move or a paw to attack. A wild can be spent as though it were any symbol, while a combo counts as both a boot and a plus. Players and enemies take turns according to the initiative order listed at the top left of the action scene book. Some elite enemies take multiple turns each round. On a player's turn, they start by rolling three dice and adding them to the pool. Then they can perform up to two actions. The actions a player can perform are listed on their character sheet and equipment cards. In addition to spending the indicated dice symbols, a player can spend a plus to boost an action's effects adding 1 to its numeric value and rolling an extra die as part of that action. On an enemy's turn, the players roll one die to determine how the enemy acts based on their activation rules shown in the action scene book. Enemies will attempt to get the most out of their turn, positioning themselves and attacking as often as possible. When an enemy has suffered damage equal to their toughness, they are defeated and their meeple is removed from the board. But if a player has suffered damage equal to their toughness, they gain an injury, which is recorded on their character sheet. Some or all of the damage the player suffered is transferred to the injury, where it is healed more slowly. The injury imposes a consequence or restriction on the player until it is fully healed. Once the players complete the goal indicated in the action scene rules, the action scene ends and the players continue the story in their books. At the end of each adventure, players gain experience, which can be spent to unlock new skills. Then, they each draw a card from their personal interlude decks. Each interlude card gives players choices about how to spend their free time, usually leading to gaining new components or healing. Alternatively, players can craft new equipment or upgrade their existing equipment. Each character has a specific way of crafting, listed in the rulebook. You're now ready to play! If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to The Rules Girl for more rules videos!